Welcome to Managing Safety Self-Awareness. This course is about helping you meet your top priority as a supervisor, making your workplace safer. Our goal is to show you how personality contributes to workplace incidents and injuries, and how you as a leader can reduce incidents by managing safety self-awareness in yourself and those you supervise. There are four sections in the course. Understanding Personality, Human Error and Workplace Incidents, Managing Safety Risk Factors, and the Six Dimensions of Safety Risk. Once you've completed the four sections, there'll be a brief wrap-up followed by a quiz to test your knowledge. After successfully completing the course, you will receive certification. Altogether, the course should take you about one hour to complete. When you're ready to begin, click on the first section. How does this picture make you feel? Think about it for a moment and then click Next. What was your initial reaction to the picture? Fear? Excitement? Concern? Indifference? How you react to the picture depends on your personality. We're all different. Some of us are natural thrill seekers. Some of us always avoid risk. And most of us fall somewhere in between. We can think of our personalities as our default settings, how we're hardwired. It's our natural urges, impulses, and knee-jerk reactions. It's how we act when nobody's watching. Personality drives all our behavior, including the kinds of unsafe behaviors that lead to workplace incidents. For example, somebody with a highly impulsive personality is more likely to make snap decisions and engage in risky behavior than a person who is naturally more cautious. But it's not about blame. There are no right or wrong personalities. It's just how we were born. But there are right and wrong actions and behaviors. It's hard to change our personalities, but we can learn to monitor our reactions and make different choices in order to create a safer workplace. Before we can change our behavior, we have to understand our default personality and identify the factors that may lead to risky behavior. We have to increase our safety self-awareness.